Episode 84. With episode 82 of Ranger Reveal today, we have the Meepo Center Hurricane Ranger, the Black Gorai Jin, and Fuwai Maru. So we have Gorai Beetle, Gorai Stack, and Fuwai Maru. So now we have Gorai Beetle. And this one actually, this is one of the few times where Super Sensei actually uses bugs. He has the most accessory of weapons. Here is the main cannon for his uh, horn, and we have two sub cannons that go up or down or forward, and we have the head cannon over here, so you can shoot most of the weapons. Now, he does have reels, and they're the rubber reels, which is cool. They are actually real rubber reels. They're not those really crappy ones. They, they actually can move real. back and forth, and these parts are made of real die cast metal, which makes them extremely heavy on the arm parts. And of course, He's the comprised of the top half of Goraijin. And also and, stores the uh, Karakuri ball. And here is his symbol with him. Alright, so now we have Goraijin Stag, Goraijin Stag Beetle. Now, I, I like him the most because he has all the unique wheels. It also mimics what the show does. Normally, it has like the uh, shock absorbers, which you can actually bend all the wheels. They actually have springs in them, so you can do them. And of course, they're die cast metal in these as well. And of course, the pinchers can be moved back and forth to mimic his, uh, his claw, his crippling claw attack. But you know, it's actually a really cool toy. I mean, if you really think about it, Super Sentai is the only time you've actually seen a beetle as a sword. The nice chrome and all of it, and also you have his, his, um, his symbol on the top. So now we have Furai Maru, the component to make Goai Senpujin. Now, funny thing is, he comes with a shinobi medal, like in the show, which are belong to um, Wudowaja and Hurricane Red. If you're confused of which shinobi medal is one, it simply is that the arrowhead one is Hurricane Red, and the one that has the holes is Goranger. Now, Furumaru doesn't have that many articulated points. It can move his hands a little bit, but other than that, that's it. He's just a standable piece. His hands go into Shino uh, Karakuri Ball number 8, and of course his headpiece goes into Karakuri Ball number 7. Now, Furumaru Marvel was released as a standard release, in which he was placed in the regular normal box, and he was a colored version. Although I want to point out, though, in Japan, Furumaru sold as the individual Karakuri Ball sets. However, since he's part of the Gorai Senpujin formation, it makes it more harder for people to get him because he's separate and not together, which is, I like, I like what America did have him in the uh, Thunder Zord set only. Now, there's actually several other color variants besides this blackened version and the original default blue and yellow version. There's a clear version that comes in special edition Tenrai Senpujin that controls all of, all three of them in one set. Then there's other various other color versions that came in Hong Kong and China. Now Banda Asia is really notorious for releasing a lot of random mechas and they color always variants. and they always love to put them as single zords. Alright, so now we have Goraijin. This is actually a really interesting mecha because it's all, both of the beaters combined. It actually looks really nice too. And it's a rarity because it has only two mechas combined. Usually there's three or more. Or a, or a single one. Or a single one, which is the Galaxy Mega or the Astro Mega Zord. You can actually still move the wheels, just like in the show in which it is. It, it does have limited articulation though, but you can move the arms back and forth, up and down, very slightly. And of course the hands can rotate slightly, and also you can open the hands and fists for weapons. The, like just like the girl, just like the hurricaneers, they also have the Kokuri ball system. 
Now everyone remembers that in uh, the show, the girl I just stole Curry Curry Bowl from uh, number four from the Hurricane Division. No, it does spin. It does spin. And it does, it, its mouth actually on, it does open, but it's very slight. It's not really that much. To me, this thing looks more like a ninja star or a fan because it spins. Now it is compatible with Senpu Jin. You basically have to have the handle part slanted and you have to lower the back uh, legs in order to put it inside the arm, but it does work with him. And it also can combine with the Quagga Rider Stag Beetle's armament, so you can do that, that special combo move that they do. So just like in the show that you can do the Gorajin's attack. All the weapons are compatible with each other. You can interchange weapons from Gorajin with Senpu Jin. They're all compatible with each other. Now, if you're wondering, the black versions are compatible with uh, Tenku Jin itself. There's no problem because they're the identical same modes. You can use the original Tenku Jin with this set as well. So now we have Goai Senpujin. Now, it looks nice for a display piece, it really does. But it's extremely complicated to, in order to form. It's a lot really, of pieces. Really nice. It looks really nice, the details are really nice on this thing. You can mimic what the show does in its final move where this spins and that top spins in order to do the finishing move. The finishing move is when they when they pull the rip cord, rip cord and all the missiles fire out and everything on you. Pretty much nearly every single part from each of the Mecha's cat are actually used, but there's one part that's not. Um, Hurricane Blue's cockpit front. Now this is kind of thing that always bugged me in the show. Where is she during the fight? If her cockpit is in the headpiece, she's not part of this thing. Oh, well, it's a really nice display piece. The only bad part is, is that you can't hold any of the weapons anymore. You can't really hold weapons and the articulation is really, Very really limited. Easy. You have to be careful where you pull them. You can move them all the way around, but it's going to be bumping into certain parts. Since this toy is extremely heavy now, you can't do the actual thing what they do in the show where it actually moves with the wheels. You can't do that at all. Other than that, it's a really cool piece. Um, I do recommend it if you are a fan of the black editions or the black and gold editions, or you just like those random swords that are really, like, really nicely detailed. You just have to have a really good piece of the it because he is massive. Um, the die cast is really heavy, so be careful with where you're displaying it because it might fall if you're not careful enough. Overall, it's really decent. Um, if you have the money for it, go for it. Overall, this is a really nice display piece and the black edition actually makes it look kind of cool. It's the easiest way to get all, all of them, at least most of the majority of them, if you will, from one set. Other than that, that's it. So uh, join us next week for the Power Rangers Zero, the Red Battles. Rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week. So we have now Goi Beetle, Goi Stag, and Fumai Maru. Fumai Maru. <laughs> it's hard to say. Now, unfortunately, the Gorai Stag is the part that um, has uh, faulty parts in it. Uh, normal, there's a lot of stress inside this area because there's the spring for the legs to keep them wide open. When I bought mine, it broke. Unfortunately, this piece is broken off, and the spring can no longer be put inside. So I just re-glue it, and it has a faulty part. So mainly much if you have any of the Hurricane Ninja Mecha, you actually can swap back and forth with it. You could have the normal Kabuto Wajer, and you can have the black and gold, the black um, stag. If you want a weird color combo, you can one. do lots of weird color combination because the all of the, they're all still the same thing. There's no changes in the Japanese version at all.